Hey, I'm gonna do a little open uh, open up on a really nice little unit here. It's called a a hold peak uh, anometer that is for wind testing. It has numerous different features, and let's go ahead and pull it out of the box here. And it comes with its batteries, and the batteries have a plastic wrap around them, so you have to take the cover off, number three Phillips, and take the plastic off the batteries, put them back in. Now, they sell these on eBay, but on eBay, for some reason, everybody I know that's got them comes with dead batteries. So if you save two bucks on buying it on eBay, then what the hell did you save when you got to spend three dollars on batteries? That's kind of silly. Uh, it must be uh, they're selling old stock or something. This one here has numerous different features. Comes with a little uh, Chinglish book, uh, booklet, well, actually a sheet of paper, uh, but it does everything. It has, uh, um, you have meters per second, feet per minute, knots, wind speed, uh, kilometers per hour, and miles per hour that it will give you on this, and you get a better picture without shadow there. Uh, it has a thermometer built into it, takes two, uh, two AAA batteries, and it, it weighs very little actually, but it's but it seems to be impressive. I mean, I just barely pick it up. I have almost no wind right now. And look at this. So we'll turn it on. It does have a light. Let's see if I can get that picture better for you there. Yeah, I'll turn it off and power it back up. So you see it has it's loaded with features and you can change the different units you can change your minimum maximum holds it has a light for it it has fahrenheit and celsius and it has your wind averages temperature averages everything on it right there so this is a pretty neat one man um I, i've got four or five of these i had one of them there's like 150 bucks and it just didn't last this is the little hold peak right here and I'll put a link on where to get it at, and it's kind of random what color you get. They actually, some people have gotten red ones too, but they come in, in blue, white, red, and black. They're kind of kind of nice. Um, so you can get this, and let's go ahead and see what we get with it. And it seems to be really accurate as far as uh, it seems to be pretty good, pretty good con construction. And what I like about it is it's it's got a pretty good size fan on it you know for, for for picking up wind speed so you might want to check this out um, I put the link on there for you and where I got it at um, like I said I've had a bunch of them and so far this one seems to be a lot better built than all the rest of them that I've had so um, if you want to know whether or not where you live is a good place to put in a wind turbine like that up there which is my very old antique Winmax. That's the original HYE, not the stuff they sell nowadays. And that thing with the old blades have been running now for, I don't know, six and a half years. Fault pro problem free so far. The newer ones that are sold as a Skymax, uh, they're complete junk. They're knockoffs, they're not the real deal. So that might do you some justice if you wanna get a wind turbine. You get this thing here and you can test the wind speeds and as you can see that wind max moves with very little air um, but you want to test your wind speeds before you buy something okay just a suggestion hope that helps you out hold peak pro anometer that's how i believe they pronounce that anometer <laughs> all right guys